All right, today I'm going to do a little bit different video for me. Um, it's going to be about my new uh, Ruger SR9C, uh, kind of an unboxing and um, a little review. Um, if you watch my channel before, uh, I'm not really into handguns very much. Uh, I do have another one, so this is my second handgun that I've owned. Uh, this one I just got this week, so um, it's a new gun. I, I picked it out for various reasons that I'll kind of cover. Uh, throughout the video, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, first thing I see is a is a gun lock, pretty standard. Looks like a, a pretty decent one. Uh, the next thing I see is this um, envelope, and uh, it is a uh, spent uh, uh, casing that they fired in the factory. It has a couple signatures of uh, the gentleman that that fired the gun. Uh, they put the serial number and uh, date of the firing. So, don't know if that's a standard Ruger procedure or, or all the manufacturers do that. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, standard manual. As you can see, the Ruger makes um, several in the SR line, the SR9, the 9C, which is this model, uh, 40, 40C, and also a 45, which would be the full size. So, C means compact, typically. Uh, the barrels are, from what I've seen, about a half inch shorter than the full size. Uh, the grip, of course, are shorter to um, accommodate that. So I'll be looking through this uh, later, most likely. Uh, typical um, advertisements, accessory warnings, some uh, stickers from Ruger. And here's the gun itself. Um, looking in the package. First thing I see, of course, is is the gun, um, and what's installed in it right now is a 17-round clip. So the handle looks big because of that reason. Uh, and there's also the uh, the 10-round um, magazine. So the 17-round magazine uh, makes it similar to the full-size gun as far as capacity goes. Um, also looking through here, I see an a inexpensive little speed loader, loader, but these I think uh, are pretty good. I didn't actually know that that came with this gun. Uh, the other magazine has uh, the extra finger grip on it, but that can be replaced by this plate here if you don't want. Maybe you're going to carry it, you don't want that sticking up. Um, the gun I chose for, for various reasons. Um, the first reason was uh, I'm a left-handed shooter, so on this gun there's a lot of ambidextrous uh, control. So you have an ambidextrous um, magazine release, uh, ambidextrous safety, kind of 1911 style on the Ruger. Um, the Ruger has a lot of safety features in it. That's another reason that I considered it. It has a uh, trigger safety. Um, it also has a, a loaded when uh, up uh, chamber indicator so if there's a round in the chamber it will show that. This particular one is, is very obvious so you can see about how high it sticks out probably when it's chambered. Um, I have not shot this gun yet. This is, I've only held it in the store to get a feel so by no means am I an expert on this pistol or, or handguns in general. Really, I just became uh, kind of educated recently about uh, the different firearms on the market. Um, this one stood out because, number one, I thought it was a good value. Uh, the price point is very good on this gun. Um, I paid about $410 um, from a local dealer. Uh, he did have to order it. took about a week to get it in. Um, from a feature standpoint, it seemed like a lot of the guns on the market uh, that offered similar size, functionality, and options were, you know, six, even seven hundred dollars. So that was a little bit too expensive, I thought, for maybe for for just my first nine millimeter and kind of get in the shooting. Um, I'm typically a shotgun shooter, upland bird hunter, so pistol shooting is just kind of a an interesting hobby to me, and that's that's really what I'm what I'm after. But I've done a lot of research on the gun, so I feel like, even though I've just had it a day, I feel like I know quite a bit about it because I've watched lots of video, uh, read a lot of articles about it, and the other guns for that matter in this 
uh, classification. This this is a, a smaller gun. You know, maybe it's a considered a concealed carry size gun. It might be on the large size of that. Um, the barrel being a C is a half inch shorter than the full size full size SR9. Of course, you got the smaller uh, grip and um, smaller 10 round magazine. But for shooting sake, if you want to go to the range and make it into a full size, you've got that option too. So that's kind of nice for range shooting. Probably not something you're going to carry with you, but certainly this is the size. So let's check to make sure it's clear. Gun stays open with the, uh, the magazine engaged. Uh, another safety feature that Ruger does is uh, the gun won't, won't fire when the magazine is out of the gun. The trigger will actually pull, but the gun won't actually fire, which is something I learned about just studying up on this gun. So even if there was a, a chambered round, it will not fire, but the trigger does pull, which maybe is a little bit strange to certain people. But um, It also has you know, from what I what I hear people say is is they rave about the trigger on this gun. Um, so for me, I, I guess it feels good to me. You know, I don't really have a lot of pistol experience, so um, you know, shotguns typically don't really have a trigger that anybody worries about in, in the way you use them. So, uh, but it also has um, an indicator here on the striker. So this is a striker fired gun. It's not a hammer fired gun. Uh, so you can see. The trigger does feel good. It almost feels like steady pull and almost like you're snapping a, a steel rod type of feel. Uh, the ambidextrous safety will lock the slide. For me that's good because I felt like I needed the extra safety features. It just it seemed like it made sense to me. Um, from what I, what I see, a lot of people don't like these types of safeties. But the nice thing on this gun is you don't really need to use it. You've got a trigger safety. Um, there's a lot of different safety features of the gun, so you can choose to use or not use the trigger safety, or excuse me, the, uh, the slide safety here. So the takedown, uh, it, has, it does have a pin you have to push through. I've seen guys uh, just use a magazine or maybe even a punch. Probably when the, when the gun is wore in, you're able to push this out a lot easier. This pulls out and the slide comes off. Kind of like a 1911, I guess. Um, and in similar fashion, that this safety is kind of like a 1911. It's a little hard for me to reach because of the way the gun is built. And it's, it's a little bit far back, but I think it's just something to get used to. Another thing that, that people complimented, and, and I can agree, are the sights. You know, they have a very uh, three dot lineup, very obvious, very visible. Uh, the sights are adjustable, so some of the more expensive guns have this feature. So for this price point to have that, you know, there's a lot of value I see in the gun. It does have a light rail that you can attach a laser, light, whatever you might like. So that's kind of nice for a modern gun. A typical polymer, I think, these days has that. This back grip is uh, reversible. I think you just, from what I've seen, you just punch this pin out and you can flip this around to get more ag aggressive or less aggressive. I'm not sure exactly what's, what's in there. Um, but very solid feel slide, good action. I've heard that, you know, it's pretty reliable to shoot the 115 grain bullets without a problem. Uh, maybe a little bit of a problem when it's when you're breaking in for the first couple hundred rounds, but after that, uh, I haven't heard anybody complain about the different grain size bullets and shooting the cheaper loads. Um, but it looked like a good gun uh, for me. Made in USA is always a, a number one thing for me. Uh, so that you know, I always I'm attracted to Ruger for that reason, uh, partially, but mostly because of the way it feels. It really feels good to grip. Um, has a good weight. I think maybe it's a little bit heavier than some of the models. Uh, I looked at a few, uh, but for this price point, I don't think you can go wrong. So uh, I hope this helps uh, somebody else make a decision. But so far, it looks like a solid gun. I I, uh, I haven't shot it yet, but I, 
hope I like it. I really don't see any reason why I won't, um, based on what I see and what I've what I've heard. I think it's it's probably a pretty accurate gun. So maybe I'll do some follow up videos on uh, how it functions. Thanks.